with uh, the day and age that we are, we are now, technology is very important and, and a Catapult product uh, means a lot to us. So we're working with a, quite a large number of Premier League teams now, including current champions Chelsea, uh, former champions uh, Leicester City, Tottenham Hotspur, Southampton and obviously AFC Bournemouth where we are today being another team. As coaches and sports scientists we've really nailed down in the last sort of 14 to 16 months what sort of data we're after the day before a game. Uh, we're after a limited amount of dives, a limited amount of high jump exposures. For instance, you might have seen just at the end there, we did a little bit of crossing. We know that if we're going to expose them to about nine on each side with the actual philosophy that uh, we implement here, positioning that we implement here, uh, we're not going to unduly fatigue them ready for tomorrow's game. So the Catapult G5 was originally uh, designed alongside coaches and goalkeepers. We've been tracking outfield players for a number of years and we have almost had this separate group of goalkeepers training alongside those outfield players so that we had no idea what they were doing. So we really wanted to try and work something out for them. We wanted to bring in the inertial sensors which are running at a much higher frequency which can allow us to calculate the number of dives, how quickly they get up from those dives and the number of jumps that they get in the training session. So it really brought the unit into the goalkeeping space um, and allowed them to get a picture of what the train load was and to look to use that information to improve technique, improve performance and ultimately reduce injuries. The Catapult G5 has provided some real insights um, and it's kind of confirmed what we expected. So goalkeepers tend to work a lot harder in training as they do to match matches for example. So one Premier League club uh, was rehabilitating their goalkeeper and they actually found that he was ready to return to matches before he was ready to return to full training. Well, I'm a firm believer in technology um, and statistics so any kind of information that you get on a daily basis of training whether it's your loading, whether it's your saves, whether it's uh, filming your training sessions to get video uh, to see how you can improve as a player and I think that it's all beneficial for using the right way and uh, thankfully we have the right people here around us that, that help us do that.